So I've ordered myself a little lens adapter which fits the 808 camera but it also fits the V686G. It gives you a much wider field of view and I'm hoping a little bit sharper as well. But what I was a bit shocked to get, and it was purely because I obviously hadn't studied what I was buying, was this came as well. Uh, I thought it was another 808 camera. I didn't actually want another 808 camera. And this was under eight pounds. So I was thinking, I don't quite know why I've got this in here. Perhaps I had a freebie, but basically it's just a case. So you can upgrade if you had the old um, lenses. I think it was a C lens, which was a narrow field of view. You could upgrade it with this, and that's why it comes with that. This will be handy um, if I get any more quads in the water with cameras on board. Perhaps uh, I'll have to replace the case, but uh, there we go. So first of all, take the camera off the uh, V686G. Let's disconnect the cable there. And then there's a slide here just to pop it off. Put the quad safely to the side. And there we go, that's a camera unit. There's four screws that we've obviously got to take out with our trusty Phillips screwdriver, the little mini one. Just comes off. That's an easy, there we go. And this is the bit we're going to be replacing. So obviously need to turn the board over and get to the other side. There's one screw just here. I've changed the camera angle so I can show you how you actually take the lens module out and put the other one in. So there's a little plastic locking strip along here and you just have to push that out just a wee bit. It's not far, a couple of millimeters I suppose. I'll try and do this so you can see it, but doing it upside down for the camera is not the easiest. There we go, you can just see it just sort of gives up the ghost after a tiny little push. And then we just slide that module out. There we go, and you can see the connectors under there. And then basically it came in that way, so we need to put the new one in that way as well. So that's round that way. And it just slides in, there's a it only fits in because there's a sort of slot that it goes into. Just make sure that's seated in there. And then just slide this locking plate back into position. Making sure not to touch anything with your screwdriver. I'm sure some people can do this with their fingers, but to there we go, you can just feel it lock up then. That should be fine. There we go, that's not going to go anywhere. Okay, so all we have to do is fit the lens, new lens module back into the uh, camera case itself. But this fits in about here, but it's not going to fit as you can probably see. It's just going to sit up at an angle because this diameter here is way bigger than this one. So just going to quickly measure that. So we've got about seven millimeters there. So I just use a, I'm going to put these two back together. And I just use a seven millimeter drill, just to drill down into there. And then hopefully that will all fit together. cables are coming through fine and making sure that all lines up that's all pretty good that's sitting in there that's it so I feel it sit into its own little place there I'm just going to pop the housing back on There we 
go. That lens is not moving now. Only one thing for it, take the lens cap off and give it a quick test. One final mod I've had to do is instead of mounting the camera as, as normal so that it's sat within the two slots, you just pop it out. Oop, there we go need to get just the back one in, not the front one. There we go, like that. My only other problem there might be this might move, in which case I'll just put elastic band around just to hold it flat against there. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, please subscribe and uh, like and give me some comments and feedback, that would be great.